So there's actually, you might have noticed, there's actually one of those eggs in here too that you can hatch right here. And you're supposed to hatch that egg and use banjo to, uh, or use the floaty thing to get banjo across. But, of course, if you use the double jump, you just get across without it. So we're going to use sack pack here, or shack pack, should I say. And go inside, get the notes. So you want 765. Well, that's pretty much the last move. We don't need any more notes after this, but we got them anyway. Okay, this is a sack pack. Face by danger, jump on top. Now in the backpack, you can hop. This is pretty much like totally like all these banjo moves involve the backpack. They're so much like I don't know. It's weird. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Well, I guess we could read the sign. You don't get to read the sign in here too often. Plant a seed, watch it grow. Up the beanstalk, you will go. <laughs> nice. All right, so we're outside of that again. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Oh no, oh no. Ow! But I'm fallproof, so it doesn't matter. We need to head for the red door. Oh. Thank God for that double jump, boy, let me tell you. I don't think you're supposed to be able to do half of the shit that I'm doing right now. Yeah, Honeyback even applies when you're by yourself. That is nice. So we come outside, and what do we got? We got boss cuts, we got some boss cuts! Anyway, no, actually, we got a vine, so... Let's head on over and climb up it. Careful, you idiot, I said across her nose, not up it! Alright, and, um... Uh, where does this... Yeah, I believe that's it. Get away from me, bee. Die, monster, you don't belong in this world! Alright. And now this is what happens when you take one of those things into your backpack. You actually float like this, and you can get across here. And this is a banjo-only segment of the game, so you have to do this. It's, much as you might not like it, that's how the cookie crumbles. So, uh, yeah, just get up the bike. Quit jumping around, you silly goose. Oh, I almost fell there. Okay, so he's like, ah, there you are, Furball. Event 2 is the sack race. Find a sack from somewhere and race me to the finish line. And that's where you use... This is the C up. Or, yeah, Z plus C up. I see you have a sack, Furball. Fancy a little race across this thorny course? Sure. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Now, this guy's pretty fast, so what you might want to do is take the shortcut here. This thing controls really kind of awkwardly. Almost made it. Almost made it. Almost made it. Hey, alright. First try, baby. Awesome. Ah, oh, yes. I'm so relieved about that. I was worried that shortcut was going to be harder to take than it would be. What? You must have cheated. You ain't won yet, Furball. See you around for event three. Ha ha. So you actually did win, even though he said that. So he comes around, and now it's a straight, full-on race here. I can only imagine how we're going to win this one. So we'll just drop off here, and, uh, ow. Just land in the flower. The stupid flower. Ooh, and this just takes you right back where you were. So we'll go back in the cave now. Okay, pick up the note here, and, uh, we're looking for a skinny blue door. Hmm, I see it. Wait, that's not it. Oh, so many exits in here, it's really maddening trying to find the one you're looking for. I oh, can't get up there. We're gonna have to go around the long way. That kind of sucks. Well, it's not really the long way, it's just like, a slightly longer way, I guess. Yeah, it's right up here. Just over those hills. Are you sure you know where you're going? Just keep jumping, that's all I can say. Ah, uh, that's not the one I want. Ah, I finally killed one of you. Nice work there. Would you stop hitting me? Seriously? It's like really getting on my nerves, man. 
Let me just take a look around here. I know which door I want. Is it that one back there? It couldn't be that easy. Because I must have been right there at it. Oh, oh, yeah, this is the one. At least it better be. Because if it's not, I'm going to be sitting here kicking myself. Basically, we're trying to get out to the two... You know, the two doors that go out to the skulls. Because in each of those, there's a vine just to the left. So we're basically doing the same thing twice here. Twice in a row. And once you get to the top of the vine, again, you... Whoa, 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 What are you... What, what the hell was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? What? Huh? 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 The two exits that go out to the skulls, because each each exit that goes out, each exit that leads to a skull also has a vine just to the left of it. So you'll be able to climb the vine. And we'll go across there in a minute, but first I'm going to jump this flower here. This will take us to a jiggy, a real quick jiggy. And probably the easiest jiggy in the game, actually. I'm surprised they did this, but <laughs> it's kind of cool, though. And this is one of those you might see it from afar and be like, how the hell do I get over there? Well, this is how you do it. You just have to uh, shack pack it. See, again, shack pack, sack pack. It'd be really easy to get confused here. But, yeah. And that's pretty much all we have to do there, so... Get away from me, Zuba. Zuba. And we're going back in the flowers. It's going to take us right back where we were, so there's nothing complicated about that. It's a really easy jiggy. So, and that's why I say this world is quite a bit easier than the last three. Out of the last four worlds, it's definitely the easiest. Wait, right, are there any? Okay. I thought I saw notes over there. And we just got to climb the vine again, which kind of sucks, but yeah, what are you going to do? Okay, don't step on the thorns yet. Now we're going to use the sack pack here. Z plus C up, and we're going to hope across here. Hope across here. <laughs> Just be careful. Take your time. You can also jump while doing this. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Anyway, and now we do this move. So much backpack stuff, I tell you. You know, in the bathroom! Just the bat and backpack made me think of bathroom. Those eyeball plants, we'll have to do those eventually. That'll be a little surprise coming up shortly here. Alright. Cool beans. I'll come up here is one of the more, uh... I don't know, it's, it's, ah, it's a really weird jiggy, I don't know. See all the smoke up here? Like, where's all that smoke coming from? Well, I'm about to show you. It's this block of cheese. Giant block of cheese. Where do you go inside? All right, we're inside of the cheese whiz, and you can hear the coughing sound effects. Oh my god! You know, get some more toilet paper. The, uh, excuse me. This is not how you're supposed to do this, but this is how I'm gonna do it. Oh, so close. You can get up here by doing this. I know it doesn't seem like you can. Oh, yeah, so, oh, so, ugh. there we go, we did it, <laughs> oh, I'm such a cheater, anyway, there's a Jinjo here, and now we use the, oh, it's Black Jinjo family's complete, all right, awesome, so that gets us another Jiggy there, and holy moly, does this remind anybody of uh, Super Mario Galaxy, <laughs> cool stuff. And you go inside, and guess what? You got yourself a Jiggy. Hey, so what I want to do now is commit suicide, but there's no quick, easy way to do that, because if I go outside, I'm stuck inside that corridor, and there's fresh air out there, so and if I go back into the other area of the cheese wedge, well, just by the time I get back in there, there's nothing to kill myself with in there either, because I got honey back. So what I'm going to do is just wait for my air to run out, and I'm going to die. I know that seems very cruel. It's animal abuse in every sense of the word, except that it's only a game, but still. Well, guys, it looks like Honeyback's not going to let me die that way, so I just have to leave normally. So, too bad, I guess. But that's okay, because there's always a pit right right just outside the cheese wedge. We could just die there. I know I've been dying a lot lately, but uh, what can I say? Junk ball! Urgh. 
Looks like I landed in, uh, hmm, somewhere. I don't know. 